Hi, I'm Dr. Lavinia Chong. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon here in Newport Beach, California. Women choosing breast enhancement may often wonder what type of breast implant is best for them. Your choices may vary from saline to silicone and a wide variety of profiles and textures. Today I'd like to introduce you to the gummy bear gel implants. The gummy bear gels are highly cohesive silicone gel implants which are teardrop shaped and were introduced to the US market in 2012. They have been used in Europe and Latin America for over 10 years with a proven record of safety and efficacy. Advantages of the implant are as follows. There's a lower rate of capsular contracture, so there's no need to massage. The implant shapes the breast instead of vice versa, and there's less tendency for rippling or wrinkling. Leakage is not defined even if the external shell is breached. And lastly, the implant offers less animation deformity when a woman pushes on her chest muscles, as occurs in the gym. Here I am holding a smooth high-profile silicone gel and a gummy bear gel upright, and you can see an obvious difference. This position simulates what happens in real life as the smooth gel on the left settles in a lower position and the gummy bear gel on the right provides upper pole fullness and no wrinkling. Here is a revisional case pre-op view in which I used gummy bear gels. This illustrates asymmetry, left capsular contracture, and the aesthetic problems of implants which are placed on top of the chest muscles in a thin patient. This post-op view after implant exchange using gummy bear gels in the submuscular plane shows better symmetry, good cleavage, and a soft mobile breast. The disadvantages of this implant is they may feel firmer compared to a smooth device. There is a potential for malrotation. A larger surgical incision is required, so the preferred site of insertion is the inframammary fold at the base of the breast. There's also a fairly steep learning curve for surgeons as the techniques are slightly different from those used for conventional implants. And lastly, you may still feel the implant through thin breast envelopes, hence composite fat grafting may be required. So who's a good candidate? If you're a younger patient with tight skin, little breast volume, and no droop looking for a teardrop shape, in other words, a gradual transition from the collarbone to the nipple with moderate upper pole fullness and a firmer feel, you should consider the gummy bear gel. See the contrast between here? Other cases suitable for this implant may include breast cancer reconstruction patients and revisional augmentation patients. On the other hand, if you're someone with excess breast volume or droopiness, an overly stretched out breast skin envelope, and don't want a breast lift or any other techniques designed to make the breast fit the implant, you would be a poor candidate for the gummy bear gel implant. If your aesthetic ideals include a significant upper pole fullness, a heave, or a fake look, gummy bear gel implants are inappropriate. Lastly, individuals who are physically active, who surf and engage in upper body contact sports should be aware that rotation may occur with less than optimal results. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to a novel option for breast augmentation. It may not be the one for you, however, optimal results will occur if you're able to communicate your aesthetic ideals and understand what aspects of your anatomy will favor a good result by choosing the appropriate implant. Again, I'm Dr. Lavinia Chong. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you around the office soon.